Hello my friends. I'm going to show you how to start making a Windsor chair. Two excellent books on Windsor chair making and I use these as my reference books. Uh, traditional Windsor chair making. And this is by Jim Rendy. And this will have measurements that you can work from. And this is patterns to scale and he's demonstrating or showing how to make bending jigs or forms and this one has uh, a few different types Windsor chair making by Thomas Moser and he has the history and different types of chairs the basis to the the dynamics of the chair different styles of chairs and a lot of his processes I cut a pattern for the seat for the Windsor chair seat out of a piece of cardboard and I had marked points of drilling on there and the seat is going to be made out of two inch stock and this you can see I glued up there's a glue line and uh, this is a piece of cherry you want to use a, a piece of wood that's easy to carve cherry is a little bit tougher but uh, poplar or basswood is an excellent wood material to use for the seat okay for the carving I made a template a jig you can see here it's made for two directional this allows me to carve to this line and then you flip it over the center line is here and this allows carving this is relief for the legs and your bottom you'll join the two back in here here is a finished carving and you can see the areas that's relieved and the back side is underside is rounded off and you can see there's a little channel here about an eighth of an inch deep and uh, this is an optional thing but what I'm plan on doing is painting the chair and when the spindles are painted uh, you need to uh, leave a border Com uh, it's almost impossible to get the spindles painted without getting paint onto the chair seat so this allows the back area to be painted and I can leave the cherry color exposed here I'm making a drilling jig to be used to drill the holes for the legs of the Windsor chair and what I have done is I measured in from the edge on the front it's 4 inch by 4 inch and on the back 5 inch by 5 inch okay then I cut these blocks one is 100 degrees, the other is 110 degrees. And these two blocks can be used for both the front and the back. Now the front, the leg leans 100 degrees. So I have it clamped. And I'm using the block to guide my drill and I set the, the uh, center of the drill bit to the crosshairs and I'm using C-clamps to hold these blocks in location now on the back these blocks will be just the opposite 110 degrees leaning backwards and 100 degrees leaning to the side when I drilled the holes, 
this is the underside this is what will touch the seat so the legs have to be leaning outward so you have to remember that when you set this drill up the drilling will be done from the opposite side okay now I'm going to move the jig to this other location here and I will step drill um, through about five different steps and starting with a very small bit in case that I make an error I can correct it okay this is important to do once this jig is made it would be able to be reused over and over and this should allow me to drill from the top side of the seat so I will reduce chance of any tear out I'm starting the hole with the small bit this is an eighth inch and I drilled that 90 degrees just to start now I'm going to taper my drill bit according to these angles and I'll follow it in the very first one is going to guide all the other bits where I had the spur bit um, I didn't cut close for safety reasons so I am going to take this off I'll do each one like that now these are going into these are a taper going into a parallel hole so I have to take my tapered green and run into these and match the taper that I turned on the lathe. Then I have a tapered ream and this is uh, also 5 8 inch auger. I'm just going to get them close and uh, once I get all four tapered then I'll do the individual legs I'll designate each leg to a particular hole because all the turnings were by eye and we want them to all seat the same distance thanks for watching my friends bye bye